In our first video, we're going to try to solve or isolate the variable y. So we're going to start like always in our, even our equations, by drawing a line, in this case under the inequality symbol. So remember, we want to isolate the variable y. So the number that is with the y, in this case the 2, will have to be canceled at last. So we're going to start by canceling our 8x. How do we get rid of 8x? By subtracting 8x. And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. What will happen now is that our 8x will disappear because it cancels. We are going to be left with 2y. And on this side, we have negative 6 minus 8x. Remember, they're not like terms, so we cannot combine them. We're just going to leave negative 8x and negative 6 next to it. At this point, since we have an inequality, we need to check, have we done anything that will flip the inequality symbol, which is multiply or divide by a negative. In this case, we have not, so it remains in the same direction. Now, we need to cancel our number 2. Don't forget that this 2 is multiplying the y, therefore for me to cancel it, I need to divide by 2. Once that I divide by 2, I need to do exactly the same for every single term on the other side. So now the 2's cancel. We have our y alone. On the other side, I have negative 8 divided by 2. Again, negative divided by a positive is a negative. 8 divided by 2 is a 4. And x, we just drop. Now we're going to do exactly the same for negative 6. We have negative 6 divided by 2. Negative divided by a positive equals a negative. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And again, before we write our inequality symbol, we need to check. Have we done anything that will flip the inequality? We divide it, but in this case it was a positive. So, no, we have not. It stays in this direction. So this is our linear inequality. 